almost anything they can think of. Imagine a copy machine that makes actual things, not pictures of them. But like most technologies, it can be used in positive and negative ways. As Jeff Gore reports, the limits are already being tested. Good morning to you, Jeff Glor. Gail, good morning to you. 3D printing has been discussed in pretty monumental terms with good reason. It can essentially turn your living room into a factory floor. It's already making lives better and raising complex legal issues. What you are seeing right now shouldn't be happening. Four-year-old Emma Lavelle was born with a rare joint and muscle disease that makes it impossible for her to lift her arms. That changed when this came along. It's a mechanical harness called Rex that gives Emma the upward motion. She only has to push down. Emma's entering um, a stage where she's becoming, wanting to become so independent, and Rex does that for her. I've seen you describe this as her magic arm. Yeah, they are. They really are. Nice job, Emma. That's heavy. Emma got the Rex at Nemours Children's Hospital in Wilmington, Delaware, where they design and build it using a 3D printer. When you first heard the words 3D printer. I didn't know what a 3D printer was. I knew very little about it. But um, these guys are geniuses. Look at what they built for my daughter. Some of the, uh, the metal Rexes that we were building before would take me about nine months to make one Rex. And now it takes how long? Uh, a week. 3D printing, the process of literally sculpting tangible objects from a digital model, was once science fiction, but it's quickly becoming a mainstream phenomenon. Map it out on the computer, send it to the printer, watch it go. From medical devices, jewelry, and toys to shoes. These are fun. If you can think of it, they can likely do it. The t-shirts in the store here say, I can make anything. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, so um, there's a few limitations, but they're not limitations for creative people. Brie Pettis founded MakerBot, a company that's now selling 3D printers in stores. It just changes the way people think. It's a culture shift as much as it is a technology shift. That said, $2,200, it's not cheap. You know, when you compare it to what these cost on an on a industrial scale, it's absurdly cheap. It is not hard to see why this opens a whole new world, both helpful and at times controversial. We will have the reality of a weapon system that can be printed out from your desk. Cody Wilson, a University of Texas law student, wants to use a 3D printer to make a gun, even looking for online donations to fund what he calls his Wiki Weapon Project. He leased a 3D printer yeah, and was prepared a, to share a 3D uh, gun file online until the company that made his machine took it away, saying, it's the legal responsibility of Stratasys not to knowingly allow its property to be used for illegal purposes. I said, you know, what we're doing doesn't require a license, and we're answering these questions. We're not going to do anything um, that's against the law. Uh, but they said that they weren't, they weren't interested in the legal debate. For the Lavelle family, there was no debate and no downside. They can't remember the common name. Emma's been using Rex since she was 18 months old, the youngest ever. The 3D printing allows the hospital to make new ones, so she never outgrows it. Does Rex help you do things that you couldn't do before? Yeah. It does? It helps me um, play in my kitchen. So you can lift things? And, and lift um, heavy stuff up. When you think back and see where she is now. Ugh, it's incredible. It's it's unbelievable, and every single thing we do is like therapy for her. I'm sorry. <laughs> Andrew and I look at each other and say, how do we do that? You know, how, how do we even make this happen? So um, to know now that she's this independent little person, she's come so far, such a long way. She has. I see why Emma's mom gets so upset, because it literally changes her daughter's life she's in a way you didn't think possible. She's an extraordinary little girl. Her condition will not get worse, mm -hmm. but she has the potential to get better with these devices that can train her muscles and joints to a certain extent. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around exactly what I just saw. Yeah. So yeah. It, can, it can duplicate. Everyone else is, too. Duplicate yeah. anything, Jeff. It can. I mean, conceivably, yes, it can duplicate just about anything. These machines will get better and better. And as we go along, that's why some of these legal issues will be explored more and more. But we talk to engineers, we talk to lawyers, we talk to doctors about this. Every single person says, look, this is a whole new world. Oh, yeah.
Um, and so, you know, law will change likely because of it. Um, there will be lawsuits. Mm -hmm. If somebody tries to make something um, that somebody's already other made, somebody's a patent on it, whatever else, um, it, it's just a lot that needs to be explored. They, they are just at the very beginning, but it's a fascinating business to talk about. And a fascinating story. Yeah. Thank you. Can we duplicate Charlie Rose? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for that. <laughs> Charlie, are you having a good day? <laughs>